Welcome, in front of me is Lenovo ThinkPad T495 and in this video I will tell you if this laptop is good. Generally, this model is widely regarded as a good business and productivity laptop with a strong value proposition, uh, especially for people who prioritize reliability, uh, keyboard quality and uh, Linux compatibility. And if I have to enlist its key strengths, then I'd start with the excellent keyboard just like in other ThinkPad models. Uh, this model's laptop is a consistent highlight for comfort and long work se session. The only disadvantage of it is that it loses in looks, in appearance over time. As you can see, it, it sh really shows that it, this uh, laptop's keyboard is pretty worn out right now but still it only loses in looks and not in functionality so for me uh, it's still I would still use this laptop now robust build quality is the second strength the chasis is solid lightweight and durable making the laptop uh, suitable for frequent travels and the next strong quality is the Ryzen G, uh, Ryzen CPU in this laptop, which offer satisfactory multi-core and graphics performance for typical business and office tasks. Uh, uh, and general, next, the next uh, thing that I want to mention is the better value. Uh, this laptop tends to be priced lower than comparable Intel-based models, uh, while offering similar real-world world performance. And uh, the next thing is uh, battery life, which is not perfect, but uh, it's pretty average. But the advantage for this laptop's battery life is the fast uh, charging uh, feature that uh, allows you to charge your laptop up to 80% in just one hour. And uh, the last thing that I want to mention uh, in, okay, maybe not the last one, but uh, one of the last ones uh, th uh, of the things that I want to mention as its uh, uh, st uh, strong sides uh, is that this laptop is Linux friendly. It's, uh, it's very popular in the Linux community because of its smooth compatibility and stable operation in Linux. So if you're a Linux user, uh, then uh, this uh, this option is surely for you. Uh, and now, the last thing that I want to mention is the port port uh, availability availability on this laptop. Uh, well, if you take a look at the port selection, uh, then you can see that on the left edge we got ports like USB uh, Type C 3.1 uh, and other 3.1. This one is for charging. Uh, this one is uh, both for both charging and uh, your devices. Uh, Ethernet extension, uh, USB Type A a port, HDMI port, uh, headphones jack, SD card slot. Uh, now on the right edge we got a smart card reader, the another USB Type A port and uh, Ethernet cable port. Uh, and also we got one port on the back edge of the laptop which is hard to see uh, and it's a WAN port if you're interested in things like that okay so generally speaking this laptop is greatly built for well many purposes so it's it's a great tool to take out basically anywhere uh, if not for its uh, battery life. Well, battery life in this laptop, which I, I only briefly mentioned, generally this uh, laptop's battery can last for, for as long as uh, up to 9 hours if you are using it with low brightness or power saving mode enabled. Uh, generally around uh, 5 to 7 hours, but again, as I said, it uses uh, the fast charging uh, feature. So, uh, generally you can charge your laptop during a break. 80% uh, in one hour is a very smooth speed of charging. Now let's uh, 
switch to the drawbacks of this laptop then. So uh, the first one that I want to mention is it's not uh, got for well obviously gaming and uh, heavy workloads because uh, because of the integrated graphics uh, like on the other uh, ThinkPad models and uh, mid-range CPUs uh, uh, limits suitability for demanding a GPU or compute tasks. Uh, that's th the second thing is full HD qual display only, no high resolution screen option. Some uh, users note that fu full HD panels can vary in brightness and quality. In my opinion, well, generally speaking, this laptop's display is generally not the best I've seen. It got a, a great uh, angle of view. Uh, so you don't have to worry whether uh, your image looks smooth from uh, any angle, but but generally the brightness level is the brightness level is the disadvantage of this laptop's display. Uh, it's really it's not enough for working uh, outside, in my opinion. So if you're looking for a laptop you can take out outside, maybe look for some other options. And. Uh, the last thing is potential long-term wear, comparing to other models, uh, this uh, uh, this laptop generally, uh, this laptop's minor hardware can uh, wear over time uh, significantly. It's a minor uh, disadvantage, but still, uh, still, I don't think you want your um, Ch chases, flex, or fan uh, to wear, wear uh, out, wear out over time. So, if you have, uh, uh, if your budget is uh, bigger than the price of this laptop, uh, no matter uh, if you want to buy it as a new one or as a used device, uh, then maybe uh, look for something, something that uh, better. Uh, and generally speaking, these were all the advantages of did and disadvantages of this model. So I hope that this video helped you. And if it did, please consider subscribing to our channel, leave us a like and a comment below, and I'll see you in the next one.